Going fast is always fun, but it's not really what snowboarding is about. Freestyle is where it's at, and as the name suggests, style is king. Style. The overall performance of a rider's personal rhythm and flow while they ride. Okay, it's easier to give you an example. Watch this method air by Mark McMorris, the most classic trick in snowboarding. See? That style. Freestyle is basically about jumping and performing tricks on various obstacles. The best place to learn those tricks and develop your style is in the snow park. A freestyle terrain zone featuring a variety of man-made jumps, rails and other shreddable obstacles. On jumps, it's all about going big and sending it. Sending it. Showing full commitment while performing tricks and earning huge respect. The rotations a boarder performs while traveling through the air are spins. One trick stands out as the most classic and stylish, the backside 180. An aerial move where the rider rotates 180 degrees facing away from the direction of travel. Hitting non-snow obstacles is called jibbing. Whether you're bonking a tree in the backcountry, sliding a rail in the snow park, or down a handrail in the city, it's all jibbing. Jibbing in the park is a great way to develop tricks to take to the streets, and most of the moves have their origins in skateboarding. The simplest trick is the 50-50, which is sliding parallel on a rail. The competitive format for snow park riding is slope style. Each rider performs tricks on a course of six to eight jumps and rail features, with judges scoring on technical difficulty, execution and overall flow. To make podium, riders need to combine smooth consistency with explosive high-risk moves making slope style one of the most challenging disciplines of all. And the daddy of all slope style contests is the Burton US Open. The US Open is the longest running snowboard contest in the world. And every year the bar is raised a little higher. Anna Gasser is a young Austrian rider who represents the cutting edge of slope style snowboarding. She was the first female to land a double court which is spinning two fully inverted rotations, and in 2017 took home first place at the US Open and the X Games. Okay, next up, Anna Gassab. So starting things off with a switch front side 270, and then a switch board slide 270. All right, here it comes, the cab, double flip, sending it to the sweet spot and putting it down. And there's that backside 720, Anna Gasser is looking very, very solid right now. Board slide up over that rainbow rail. Now this is where she has to put it down. Will she take the lead with this run? Front side 720. That right there might be the greatest women's slope style run the US Open has ever seen. In men's slope style, Canadian Mark McMorris is the man to beat. Powerful, technical, and ultra consistent, Mark's four US Open slope style titles say it all. Yeah, this kid is without a doubt the most dominant slope style rider on the planet, and you will see why. Cool, calm, and composed in a bag of tricks. There's that triple cork backside 1440, scrubbing some speed, Front. and just launching off that Red Bull cannon box. Frontside 810 out of a board slide. And what do we have here? Switch, backside, triple 16, Mark McMorris. Halfpipe is the oldest freestyle discipline, going back all the way to the roots of the sport. Basically, a U-shaped ditch running down the full line of the mountain. Modern halfpipes are known as superpipes. With perfectly sculpted 6.7 meter walls, the super pipe is the ultimate arena for huge tricks.
From half pipe, we move on to big air. Unlike slope style, where riders need to balance risk with consistency, in big air, the riders go all in every time they jump to gain air time. Air time. The time you travel through the air. Speaking of airtime, 2015 marked an important milestone in the history of progression when Billy Morgan attempted a quad cork 1800. That's five full rotations, including four gut wrenching off axis rotations where the rider is inverted. But while the quad cork might represent the cutting edge of progression, nothing beats good old fashioned hang time. Straight jumps and half pipes are great for tricks, but nothing catapults you into the stratosphere like a well-shaped hip jump. Designed with a steep launch ramp and a landing zone, hips are all about combining maximum amplitude with a generous sweet spot. 